Hi there, hope you're doing great today. In today's quick video, we'll demystify the before, during, and after experience that one can expect as a passive investor when being presented with or encountering an investment opportunity. As usual, our videos are for educational and entertainment purposes only and do not constitute tax, legal, or investment advice. So let's begin. You've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Finally, you found the investment opportunity um, that you've been looking for. So what can you expect from a process perspective? Typically, the sponsor that you have a pre-existing relationship with will share the investment opportunity either one-on-one -on -one or, or via group email um, with, within their investment community and investor list. Um, they will share high-level key highlights of the opportunity, why they like it, uh, what types of returns to focus on, and, and additional nuances around the story of the property. Um, shortly after, they will have the investor webinar. Sometimes those are held live, sometimes those are pre-recorded, but it is your opportunity to hear directly from the sponsor in more detail why they like that particular investment, market, sub-market, and to the extent they're working with a different sponsorship team on that investment opportunity, why they're choosing to partner with them. Um, that webinar will be followed in some cases by a Q&A call. Um, not all sponsors host those and, and sometimes sponsors would just make themselves available for one-on-one -on -one, um, Q&A calls instead. But in many cases, there will be a group Q&A call where you can hear from other investors what type of questions, concerns um, they have regarding the investment, um, where the sponsor will address those live. Um, of course, during that period, it's very common for sponsors to connect one-on-one -on -one with investors to answer more specific or in-depth uh, questions, uh, including going through the numbers and the underwrite in more detail. Shortly after, you'll also have access to the investment portal where you can sign in, again, review the investment offering into more detail, including the investment offering documents such as the operating agreement, the private placement memorandum, the subscription agreement. Again, take your time to review those and it's a great opportunity again to reconnect with the sponsor and ask any follow-up questions you have to make sure you understand everything up front and you feel comfortable moving forward uh, with the deal. So once you review the documents, then you submit your soft commit and within the wiring deadline, which is again typically announced up front during the webinar, you will wire the proceeds or you, the, the amount that you committed to. Typically that amount is required up front because the sponsor will need it to close and um, doesn't really make sense to wait till the 11th hour to collect money, which can naturally delay closing and result in either potential loss of the investment opportunity um, or, or loss of the um, uh, loss of the investment opportunity or additional uh, earnest money deposit typically being required to uh, facilitate an extension. Um, so once you wire the money, typically there is a, a bit of a lag between uh, the time you wire the money and when the deal closes. Um, you can and should expect frequent updates from the sponsor until the closing day and of course then the big announcement once closing actually occurs. Um, thereafter, um, depending on the sponsor, we typically like to share monthly updates and monthly uh, communications as to how the investment is progressing, especially until we get the first distribution out. Um, thereafter, you can expect quarterly, but personally, I like doing monthly. I would rather over communicate than under communicate. 
And um, last but not least, once the uh, investment hold period is exhausted, typically that's five years, but of course it varies from deal to deal, you can expect communication from the sponsor as to the upcoming sale of the property, the proceeds, celebrating the gain of your investment. Um, conversely, if there are any issues throughout the investment hold period with the property, you can expect to uh, get those news from the sponsor. Again, we like to communicate both the good news and the bad news and when facilitating and when communicating bad news also sharing what actions we are taking to uh, remedy the situation and once the asset sales hopefully at a huge gain and hopefully higher than what was projected at the inception of the investment um, you will be uh, receiving the gains from sale and um, then you rinse and repeat um, to continue to grow your wealth and investment portfolio. So we hope you found today's video helpful and if you did, please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you at the next one.